med history. Hypertrichosis is excessive hair growth in any part of the body, including those where hair growth is not caused by the action of androgens. Unlike hirsutism, which is observed only in women, hypertrichosis is diagnosed in both sexes in different age categories. The cause of hypertrichosis may be congenital mutations caused by various adverse effects on the fetus during pregnancy. Hypertrichosis can develop in some diseases as a result of TBI when using a number of medications. Diagnosis of hypertrichosis involves a comprehensive dermatological and hormonal examination of the patient. Treatment depends on the etiology of hypertrichosis. Removal of excess growing hair is possible by electroepilation. Symptoms of hypertrichosis. With hypertrichosis, hair growth and pigmentation increases, they become thicker and may appear in areas where they did not grow before. There are three types of hair. Lanugo is thin, soft, slightly pigmented hair that forms in the embryonic period and is the first to appear on the body. Fluffy, hair up to 30 microns thick and up to 2 centimeters long, thin, slightly pigmented, terminal, the most pigmented hair with a diameter of 50, 100 microns. The type of hair depends on age, gender, and the location of their follicles, which are formed during embryonic development. The same hair follicle is capable of producing lanugo in the prenatal period, fluffy hair in childhood, and terminal hair in adulthood. With hypertrichosis, the growth of any type of hair can increase from lanugo to terminal. Causes of hypertrichosis Genetic mutations in which the structure of epithelial cells changes and they acquire the ability to transform into epidermal cells are a common cause of hypertrichosis. Mutations are caused by improper pregnancy, infectious diseases in the first trimester, and later the mutated gene is fixed in the genome and causes hypertrichosis in subsequent generations. Modern observations in the field of trichology suggest that symptoms of hypertrichosis may appear due to the awakening of hair follicles, which is a harbinger of malignant tumors. Sometimes hypertrichosis is detected several years before the appearance of a tumor, and in 90% of patients with hypertrichosis, various oncological processes are detected over time. The use of drugs from the group of streptomycins, cephalosporins, penicillins, corticosteroids, and sorolinoids have a side effect in the form of signs of hypertrichosis. Hypertrichosis is one of the symptoms of traumatic brain injuries, dermatomycosis, epidermolysis, bullosa. With nervous exhaustion and anorexia nervosa, the symptoms of hypertrichosis can be especially pronounced. After injuries, including thermal ones, local hypertrichosis may occur at the site of the scar. At the same time, the rest of the body has normal hair. Traumatic hypertrichosis can occur due to constant pulling of hair in the face area. As a result, fluffy hair becomes coarser, thicker, and darker, and their more pronounced growth is noted. Malformations of the bone system, for example, splitting of the vertebral arch and malformations of the psyche are often combined with clinical manifestations of hypertrichosis. Complications of hypertrichosis. Hypertrichosis can lead to psychotrauma, low self-esteem, problems in social life, and emotional disorders. Hypertrichosis itself can be a complication of other diseases. For example, metabolic disorders that occur with congenital porphyria, thyrotoxicosis, anorexia, Gerler, Hunter and Sanfilippo diseases, mucopoly saccharidosis, enzymatic and adrenal insufficiency. Diagnosis of hypertrichosis. The diagnosis is made immediately upon examination. In order to identify other disorders besides skin disorders and distinguish congenital hypertrichosis from acquired ones, the doctor carefully collects an anamnesis and conducts an in-depth physical examination. Special attention is paid to abnormalities of the face, eyes, teeth, kidneys, bones, arms, and legs, as well as obesity and mental retardation. When making a diagnosis, the type of hair and its localization are also important. This will help to suggest the cause of the disease. Depending on the symptoms, the doctor may prescribe laboratory tests, radiography of the skeleton, MRI of the brain, ultrasound EEG, ECG, and echocardiogram, as well as psychometric tests. These examinations may be required if there are signs of mental retardation, epilepsy, neoplasms of the ovaries and adrenal glands. Hypertrichosis is manifested by excessive hair growth in places where it is not considered the norm, taking into account age, gender, and ethnicity. Thus, 
The growth of hair on the legs and hips of Mediterranean women is the norm. But the same manifestation in girls and representatives of Asian nationalities is already a manifestation of hypertrichosis. In men, hypertrichosis is manifested by excessive hair growth on the back and shoulders and is a symptom of atavism. In the form of atavism, hypertrichosis manifests itself immediately after birth. The baby has a large amount of long or fluffy hair. At the same time, the face and palms may also be covered with hair. Previously, such children were killed, but now hypertrichosis is being treated quite successfully. In children, hypertrichosis is more often diagnosed together with nevi. Limited hypertrichosis in children and adults can manifest itself in the form of eyebrow fusion. In men, hypertrichosis manifests itself in the form of excessive hair growth on the face, back, and legs. The prognosis depends on the type of hypertrichosis. The disease associated with genetic syndromes usually persists for life. Patients with acquired hypertrichosis get rid of excessive hair loss after treatment of the underlying disease or withdrawal of medication that led to hair growth. The cause of hypertrichosis is determined based on a combination of clinical data, laboratory results, and molecular genetic analysis. During the examination, the doctor may ask the patient the following questions. Do relatives have hypertrichosis? What medications did the patient take and for how long? When did excessive hair growth occur? Are there any peculiarities of the menstrual cycle? Did the patient notice a change in the timbre of his voice, a decrease in the mammary glands, an increase or decrease in sexual desire, a change in body weight, a decrease in appetite? Did acne appear? To determine the cause of hypertrichosis, the doctor may prescribe a clinical blood and urine test. There are two possible mechanisms for the development of hypertrichosis. One, the transition of fluffy hairs to terminal ones. This process resembles the development of hirsutism in women with excessive hair growth in areas characteristic of the male type of hair loss. But with hypertrichosis, downy hair can become terminal in different areas of the skin in both women and men. The disorder occurs due to an increased level of androgens in which fibroblasts, the main skin cells, move. This leads to an overgrowth of the papillary layer of the dermis, which can increase the size of the follicles, and lengthen the phases of hair growth. Two, the change in the cell cycle of hair growth is the transition of follicles into the anagen phase. In this case, hypertrichosis can be cured by selectively starting the catagen phase or stopping the prolonged anagen. Hypertrichosis occurs in men and women at any age. However, some of its types are more typical for men. For example, hereditary hypertrichosis of the auricle or tip of the nose. As an independent disease, hypertrichosis occurs very rarely. Much more often, excessive hair growth is one of the manifestations of systemic disorders that require additional examinations.